whenever we sacrifice whenever we lay down our life the holy spirit will be there because wherever there is love where there is somebody lays down one's life for the another where one sacrifices oneself for the another the holy spirit comes that's what we read in romans 5:5 5:5 the love of the lord is poured into our hearts through the power of the holy spirit read that word romans 5:5 5, 5. and hope does not disappoint us and hope doesn't disappoint us because because god's love has been god's poured. love is poured into our hearts and uh, through the holy spirit who has been given to us uh, through the holy spirit who has been given to us so whenever you need whenever you see things are going out of your gear out of order when you are upset when you are angered remember there are three types of mankind in the world one group of people they move around to establish themselves to whom can i catch how can i come up in life how can i do this and that that is the end of their lives and another group of people they just waste their lives waste their time watching this and that talking all kinds of things eating drinking wasting everything that they have received from god but there is another group of people they know that life involves sacrifice they lay down their lives and it is not easy for a man to lay down the life of oneself and holy spirit helps us when we ask lord make me a person of love because this love alone builds my family this love alone builds my life we know of abraham god loved him so much god made him a great man a father of faith but when his son isaac got the girl called rebecca when both of them came together abraham old man of 120 years old he saw his own son going with his wife with his daughter in law he could not bear when he was old he said i am getting old my wife sarah is no more so i cannot find a girl for my daughter he sent his servant elia sir to find a girl for his son but when he saw the same abraham when he saw his son and daughter in law going to their bedroom he was filled with emotion he was filled with lust he did not go inside nor saw the joy of the grandchildren he went away from home and married to another woman and bore children and he died a miserable death we do not know what has happened to abraham at all when he died ismail and isaac came to know and isaac brought abraham and buried with his mother you may be a man of devotion you may go to velangani you may do many holy masses very good they are absolutely different from love love is different from devotion love is a constant awareness of one's own heart one's own emotions one's own feelings one's own decisions that's why the book of second corinthian chapter 10 verse 3 to 5 says we need to capture our thoughts and emotions and we need them to bend those emotions to do god's will build them up in love becoming love is an um, is an attitude of awareness 
awareness of oneself everybody gets anger but what does your anger do to you if you want to be a man a woman of love you have to capture your thoughts and lead them back to god god's ways otherwise love never blooms only prayer remains only devotion remains devotion doesn't save us on the other hand we find a young widow called ruth her husband is died her father in law is dead her co sister went away she is left out with the old lady naomi but she was full of love she told the mother in law till now at least you had a husband or the sons to take care of you but god god has brought me into your family now you are old lady you have no where to go so i will be your daughter naomi says no my dear you are young i am an old lady i have lived my life go back to your parents she said no your god will be my god what you eat i will eat in the eyes of the world we can't understand love love and god sought it that when they reached back naomi god spoke to that old woman and brought a relative and arranged marriage for ruth ruth said if the children are born they will be known as the children of naomi and my mother in law has to be kept with me forever she never asked any other condition love and god said a woman of love i will never leave my son jesus christ will be born from this woman's womb from her generation she became the son that were born for her became the grandpa of david the king in whose generation jesus was born the greatest achievement in life is take care that you live in love many things may not go well in your family ask the holy spirit to make you a man a woman of love close your eyes for a minute these great people in the holy gospel they teach us what is love love means you lay down life like your master jesus christ you lay down your life means you participate this one life i don't save myself this one life i lay down to the family in which god has placed me and i remain faithful with the another and i begin to stand with the another i move with the another i suffer with the another because i have a purpose to live on i have a goal to fulfill jesus fill each one of us with your divine love that our families can be built in love for which first of all our hearts may be built in love thank you father thank you jesus thank you holy ghost thank you lord